So the Xbox One X, it could become Microsoft's best selling console of all time, or it could become their worst selling console of all time. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the question in the title, is the Xbox One X worth it? If you know what the Xbox One X is, then you probably know that it's known as the most powerful console ever made. Microsoft also says that it's supposed to deliver true 4K at a cheap cost. Yes, I know what I just said. But most true 4K PCs go for above 500 US dollars, so I understand this point Microsoft made. Sure, there are exceptions, but for $500, you're getting a lot from a game console. Even so, $500 is a lot of money. And some people, such as casual gamers, probably aren't willing to pay that much for a console, regardless of how powerful it is. But some people maybe are willing to pay that much. So, is the Xbox One X worth it? Well, it all comes down to what type of gamer you are and, I guess, your budget. So now I'm going to go over if the Xbox One X is worth it for you, and if not, what Xbox One console is better suited for you. If you're just a casual gamer who just wants to play Xbox One games, who doesn't care about the graphics or resolutions or, I guess to a certain point, frame rate, I would recommend the original Xbox One. Microsoft discontinued the original Xbox One, but you should be able to still find them with the controller going for about $200. Yes, games will not look as great or run as great on it, but if you just want to play Xbox One games, then you probably only need this one. But I personally would spend the extra money to get an Xbox One S. But it does also depend on your budget. But if you're someone who is still a casual gamer, but does want a better experience than the original Xbox One could provide, I would go for the Xbox One S. Now prices for the S will vary, but I'd say they go between 200 to 250 American dollars. And in return, you're getting a console that can output 4K media and also a lot of support for at least the next three or so years. And finally, if you're a person who does want the best frame rates, who does want the best possible resolution, and who does want the best graphics, then I'd say the Xbox One X is for you. The price is high, but if you're coming from gaming PCs, then you know that this deal isn't that bad. Even if you do want the best of the best, the Xbox One S isn't a horrible deal. You're still getting a lot of great titles that run and look pretty good on it, even without that 6 teraflops of GPU performance. These three categories will hopefully tell you what console to go for. If you're still unsure if the Xbox One X is worth it to you, then feel free to leave it in a comment. I'll try to reply back to you, and others might do the same. So I hope you did enjoy this video. It would be appreciated if you shared this video, but it's always up to you. I'll have a link to my other social medias in the description, and see you.